I'm going to show you how to create a vendor down payment requests with a Fiori app in SAP s system. My name is Udish, and I've been working with SAP since 2001, with my main focus in finance. I work as an SAP FICO contractor. In case you want to reach me on for projects, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just now reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance. And the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Therefore, do not forget to subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. My dear audience, I would like to make you a request to help us to reach to the first 1,000 subscribers. At the moment, we have more than 17,000 views and less than 500 subscribers. Can you please help us to balance this scan by subscribing to this channel? Here, in this channel, we deliver very high quality of content. And I use my free time to share SAP knowledge for free. Therefore, I think it's fair enough to ask you also to share SAP knowledge. How can you do that? It's very simple, really simple. You just need to subscribe to this channel, share it within your network, and it is done. Let's reach to the first 1,000 subscribers. In previous videos of this channel, we have created a video for down payments for vendors. However, down payments requests we haven't done yet because I was waiting first for the automatic payment program to get configured so we can do the end-to-end -end process in two videos. With this Fiori app, you can create a down payment request manually. In most cases, the system creates down payment requests automatically from the vendor's purchase orders. However, if you are in a process that the vendor asks you for a down payment, and you don't have a purchase order created yet, you can use this app to make this magic to happen. And now without any further ado, let's start and let's go to the system. Now we are in the SAP launch part. If you don't know yet how to navigate, you can find the link in this video to know how to navigate. If you struggle to find Fiori apps in the Fiori SAP library. You can also find the link in the description of this one to know how to make this magic. Now what we are going to do, I'm going to click here as usual in this SAP for all tab that I created and I'm we are going to use these lovely tiles. It means that ma manage supplier down payment requests. So I'm going to click here and then we are going to enter in the down payments um, Fiori app. So I'm not going to put anything. I'm just going to press here and go. By default, so if you see here in the report, we have number ranges that are different. Okay. This says down payment requests. Even those, they are down payments. They are not down payment requests like this one. They are displayed within this Fiori app. If you see here, um, you can find the document number. Okay, let's add here some information. So what I want to have is, I want to have payment method, journal entry type, journal entry type name, G1, and that's it. So if you see here, here is a KA uh, document type, and here is a KZ document type. One size vendor payment, another size vendor document, but this is not paid yet. So what I'm going to do now is to create a new down payment request so you can see how simple is it to do it. Just in case you don't have a purchase order that, they, that make that process, you need to come to this Fiori app. Of course, if you don't have the Fiori app installed, you can go to the SAP GUI menu. So in the SAP GUI menu, you have the accounts, financial accounting account, payable, document entry, down payment, and then you have the transaction code F-47. That's the transaction code that makes the same magic as we are going to do in our Fiori app, the Fiori app that SAP created to replace this transaction code, because this is not an emulation of this transaction code as many Fiori apps we have today. Going back here, I just wanted to show you something else. 
uh, about. So you can see the framework ID is a, is a UI5 technology, this Fiori app. So it means this is a new Fiori app and not an emulation. That's the idea of the Fiori app. If you want to take notes to search uh, this Fiori app for you or to ask your uh, um, basis guy to add this into your profile. So now let's start do this by clicking here in create. So when I click here in create, I need to put the date. I'm going to put today's date. I leave KZ as by default. I'm not going to change, but I can show you what KZ is. Then the down payment. So now period I'm not going to put fiscal year. I can put here some reference, SAP for all. Add a text and I can put here YouTube video. In here I'm going to put the currency of the down payment and then translation date I can use it or not is not mandatory to have it uh, by default. So here it can by default the A you can change by clicking here you can change for something else we are going to use what comes by default. By the way this is the special gel indicator that will dictate what will be the account that will be posted on behalf of the vendor accounts reconciliation. Now my vendor or supplier, as you want to call, is always the same, 497. That's my vendor. And then here I need to put the amount. I'm going to put, uh, for example, 900. Now I'm going to click OK. And then other information is coming to fill in. So you can fill in all of this information, but what we need to put is due on. Okay, basically, I'm going to put today's date. You see, this is the account that will be posted on behalf of this because of this information here. Hey, house bank. I can make some more information. I can put the house bank that I want to use in the automatic payment method. And I should be using the payment method U for this one. I can have more information here, but I'm not interested. So let's put an item, item test YouTube video. Okay, YouTube video. So far, so good. I can close here and then I can show you that I can put create more down payments by adding a row. I can carry on with more down payments. I'm going to put delete was just for the information. I'm going to simulate this. So simulation is done. I can verify everything. I'm happy with what I'm seeing and I'm going to do something that is creating the posting. If you are enjoying this video as me doing for you, please make a like to us. <coughs> now getting back, I'm going to run my report again. Run. And then, as you can see, there is a new journal entry created. That's the amount. The item text, I put YouTube video. And then it is the same type of um, KZ. So it's not a killer. If this video was useful for you, please make some comments. Now you know how to create a vendor down payment with a Fiori app in SAP S4 and system. Thanks for watching this video. You can find the next video in the description of this one. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.